Hello guys, welcome back. Welcome to automationtalks.com Prakash Narkad this side and uh, video 20 of this advanced level framework development series for Selenium test automation where I'm going to talk about how to pass test data from your actual test case to listeners where you are going to do some uh, reporting okay so if I go to my project Eclipse okay and if i go to my listeners implementation to see what and all we did till now on test start failure and all so on test failure mostly what we are doing is we are reporting data into extent report taking the screenshots and then finally we are doing some jira defects logging as well okay so now my intention to pass the data from test case to uh, this listeners implementation class is because i wanted to have some test data okay and my actual test data is present in my test case under this hash map okay so it all depends on how you have defined your framework what kind of test data you have how you're accessing them okay but in my case what i see as of now is i have my test data into hash map and i want to pass this hash map test data into this listeners over here okay one way what i can do is so so, so basically i see two two three uh, ways uh, how can i do it in my mind uh, the very first thing is i can define this test data hash map into test space itself or whatever uh, parent class of this test cases and uh, initialize it into test case and i can extend the same uh, parent class into listeners as well that might work but in that case i need to make it as a static it will not work in parallel test execution point number two second thing what we can do is like how uh, in, in my last couple of videos i was saying like okay i can create something like like how we created extend factory in the same way we can create one more factory class for storing hash map test data for storing your actual test data and we can retrieve it wherever we want that way we can do okay so that is the simple approach and now we already know how we can do that so you can follow that particular approach if you feel you are comfortable with that uh, simply create a class like something like hash map uh, test data factory and the constructor private static object to call to uh, not not allow anyone to create uh, instance then whatever set method get method and uh, remove method basically to get set and remove the data and you can access it wherever you want in your actual test case what you can do is you can set the data so whenever you access the data just set the data into your uh, hash map factory let's say and wherever you want just retrieve it using get hash map factor something like that okay that is pretty easy way okay uh, but as a part of this particular video what i'm going to talk is by using i test context okay so this i text context is an interface and it belongs to test ng it does not belongs to selenium and what i'm going to tell you how can we pass data from uh, so so now i can use i test context for uh, passing the data or sharing the data could be from uh, anywhere right it can be from one place to another place in my case in the current situation it is like i want to pass it from test case to listeners okay so that's is, that is what i'm going to do as of now okay so till now this is what we spoke about uh, in my recent couple of videos I did spoke about how to create a bug in Jira how to add the attachment and finally I'm going to talk about how to pass the data and the same data we are going to pass into the Jira bug as well okay uh, now as I said I'm going to use something called as I test context okay now if I if I simply type something like I test context I test context okay and if I hover my mouse on this it tells me that it is an interface it defines the contents all the implementation given test run get the instance of the construct pass. so what it tells is an instance of this context is passed to the test listeners so that they can query the information about their environment okay and if i go to this i test context what and all method we have get name get start date get end date so so these are some inbuilt method what they have I'm not going to use any of their inbuilt method. Yeah, couple of inbuilt method we are going to use set and get method. Okay, so let's see. So now what my aim is? My aim is to pass this particular test data into listener. So the very first thing what I will do is uh, to my the method to my method in which I want to pass the data from which I want to pass the data. I should I should pass the argument 
like i test context i test context context okay now by using this context reference by using this context reference what i am going to do is context dot set okay i am going to set some attribute okay so now it is just like a hash map we are going to set the value into hash map and going to retrieve it based on the key the same way here i am going to set the attribute i just need to pass some key let's say i'll say test data map okay and what data you want to pass my data is present into this hash map so i want to pass the complete hash map here okay now what will happen is in the context i already have the data set which is test data with the key called as uh, or with the name called as test data map okay so uh, to pass the data in listeners okay now the situation is you can uh, once the data is added into context okay you can access it anywhere okay whether that could be let, let's take an example in my test case one i create some data and in test case two i want to use that data in test case three again i want to modify that data if i have some requirement what you can do is one way you can you can define one global variable let's say account number uh, one global variable on the top in the same class you can use like let's say test case one i'll create the account number assign the value in test case two i will use the same variable for accessing it in the test case three i'll use the same variable for accessing in the same class that will work but for example if you want to pass the data from one class into another class how you can do that so this i text context is something is going to help you again do the set attribute pass some name or key and pass actual data right now passing of the data is done now i want to retrieve the data okay where i want to retrieve the data under listeners implementation okay so under listener implementation what i am going to do is uh, i want to retrieve it let's say on on test failure here i want to retrieve that right so here two thing uh, you can either pass complete i test context context over here but in that case you won't be able to use i test result uh, now i want to use both i test context as well as i test result because few things i am getting out of i test result in fact most of the things i am getting out of i test result like my method name and few few more things i am getting uh, now it is possible to retrieve the content of context or i test context via i test result as well how what you can do is you can say result dot there should be some method like get uh, test context okay there is a method called as get test context dot get attribute like how we did a set attribute uh this time we are going to do a get attribute and here i need to pass the same name what we added over here that is test data map okay and now i know that under this test data map i have passed the hash map so result of this particular statement i should store it into hash map so let me create one hash map okay and i'll say test data hm is equal to this okay now it is not compatible because this get test context method uh, what it returns it returns an object okay but you are trying to store it to a hash map right so let us type cast it now whatever object it is returning internally it will get converted into a hash map and it will get assigned into something called as test data hash map now if i print this test data hm it will hold all your test data okay so this is one thing so this particular test data i am going to pass into my uh, jira okay so okay i did change over here if my uh, automatic jira creation in properties file is on then issue subject is this issue description okay so under issue description i am going to add couple of things first thing is my test data second thing i am going to put the exception okay so now i already know what is my test data okay test data i know now how to get the exception okay so what i'll do is let's say uh, or let me put it here because anyway i don't want it there i want it somewhere here i want it in uh, jira itself right so that should so i can put it over here 
okay now the second thing what i want is i want exception exception like it will tell me why uh, test case is failed so i want to add all those exception details as well right and how i am going to get those exception details from this i test result object that is if i can do result where it is yeah here yeah. result dot there should be some method called as get uh, throwable get throwable okay so in get throwable we have a complete set of uh, do I have anything else give me a minute uh, what are the methods I have there get okay i think get throwable should work let's see get throwable okay and now i'm going to put both these things into my description that's a uh, jira description okay so under jira description i will say the very first thing i'll say test data used uh, where is my description here okay here i'll say uh test data used is this and also along with this i want to add the exception detail exception details are okay and here are my exception details so i'm going to attach this as well here so now in my body i'll get both the things my test data and exception details so so now r listen this is going to be situation dependent whatever things you are getting whatever things you want to put it into defect so everything depends on situation based your project based how you are designing your framework it is not like okay if i have done in this way you should try in the same way not necessary okay but uh, yeah so this is just one way what i'm trying there could be any number of ways okay uh, now i think that's it i should be able to execute my test so what i did is i did use i test context to pass the data and to retrieve the data and then we used get throwable and uh, now we are going to put the same thing under issue description okay and let's see now what i'll do is i will trigger the execution okay so i have two test cases which are going to run i'll just pause the video so that it will not take that much time okay i see that one test case is completed and it has started the second one okay so my execution is completed two test cases are failed and you see something like up attachments are uploaded let me go to my jira and let me refresh if I can see uh, okay and here you go I see two defects defect number 22 and defects number 23 and now if you see the description it shows me what test data I have used like whatever things I have passed over here and also uh, exception details so here you see something like exception details are there is some assertion error string assertion is failed on field DB task name expected value was this but actual value is this so now i am able to see the description in very detail along with my screenshots and whatever things we saw yesterday assignee who is reporter a label component priority and all this stuff right so this is the way basically how we are going to pass the data from your test case to uh listeners right what i am doing is in my test case i am going to do context dot set attribute and in my listeners i did context dot get attribute sorry result dot uh, get test context dot get attribute right so yeah that's it i want to show you as a part of this particular video so what we uh, this was video number 20 where we passed the data from test case to the listeners and we did talk about data driven test cases we did talk about creation of bugs now in coming few videos what i am going to speak is i am going to talk about retry analyzer how to retry your uh, failed test case automatically 
okay and next i would be talking about let's say uh, what else we are remaining with mm, we are remaining with let's say selenium grid i'll start with selenium grid and then we'll see how can we host the same thing on docker and we can perform the execution on docker then we'll move to jenkins and perform the executions from jenkins okay so yeah these are really important topics we are going to uh, cover going forward okay so yeah stay tuned thank you